Hey guys, today I'll be showing you armor stands that can react to the holes in front of them and then jump over them accordingly. So this is another step in armor stands reacting to the environment around them. Last time I showed you wood cutting, this time I'll show you how they can jump over holes when they run into them. So the way his armor stand works is he can jump over holes that are size 1, 2, and 3 big. I know you can jump over size 4 big, but I couldn't do it consistently, so I decided that the armor stand couldn't either. So we can just punch some holes in this thing. We'll start off with like a 3 big, and maybe a 1 big, and just like some different holes. doesn't really matter where they are, stuff like that. And then we can just press the button, and we can watch him react. So he'll react to the holes as they appear. So at any time, you can just punch holes. Like, it doesn't really matter where. And then if you get a hole that's too big, I guess he'll consider this as a hole that's too big. Jump too big for me is what he'll say. Because, obviously, there's no more blocks for him to jump to. So this is just another step in making armor stands as realistic as players. Because my goal is, one day, to have armor stands be able to do a full Let's Play. So this is another step in reacting to their environment. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll be posting some more complicated ones soon with searching and uh, having an inventory of their own and stuff like that. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe for more if you want to see the searching and inventory and other really cool animations that I have built. This is just a short one while I work on the bigger ones and I look forward to releasing the bigger ones for you soon. So subscribe for more and thank you very much for watching. Twistercraft signing off.